Hello, and welcome back to the next video, to Battlefleet Gothic Armada 2. And now we're fighting the battle for Dimus Binary... Uh, Demius? Demius Binary, sorry. In German, it's actually called Dimus Binary, if I recall that correctly. Alright, we are in the battle preparation stream... Uh, screen. So you see streaming that, I forgot about this. Um, yeah, we have a strength of 306 Battlefleet power of our combined fleets and the chaos fleet defending Demius system oh of the 12th emperor the emperor's legion actually uh, emperor's children legion okay no system defenses nicely we're able to field all of our ships the enemy isn't 10,000 years have passed since the galaxy burned in the fires of the Horus heresy Ten millennia since the greatest of the Emperor's Primarchs fell into the grasp of eternal damnation and tore the galaxy asunder. Horus Lupercal may be dead, his body ashes and his memory the stuff of a cursed legend, but the wounds he wrought yet gape in the hide of an embattled Imperium. For the battle against Chaos knows no end. Many of Horus' servants survived the civil wars, and they have not forgotten their defeat. When the War Master fell, they retreated to the Eye of Terror and waged battle anew. Greatest of these was Abaddon the Despoiler, Horus' greatest living heir. Abaddon took the title of War Master for his own and embarked upon a long and bloody campaign to succeed where his fallen master had failed. Twelve Black Crusades he launched against the Imperium of Man. Twelve world-shattering campaigns to forever alter the balance of power. Now, as the Millennium draws to a close, a vast armada of traitors slips its moorings as Abaddon launches his thirteenth and perhaps final strike. As the tide of chaos breaks against the Cadian Gate, the Imperium holds its breath. Faith alone cannot hold back these bleak waters. Only Valor will serve. And here we go into battle. Sorry for the cut. <laughs> Alright, so we are in battle and we have deployed first the Righteous Protector, the Lunar Class Cruiser of Admiral Spire himself, and we have one Light Cruiser, the flagship of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Alright, we have five capture points, that's new in this game. So there's effectively only uh, two, I think, uh, battle variants left of the multiple variants we had in the first game, of which the majority wasn't fun. Um, so they basically kept only one and it's a uh, uh, direct confrontation, uh, cruiser clash I think it was called, and yeah, added these points, so actually have to capture something and hold such points, which gives the Imperial Navy some options to fight against uh, we serve. kiting fleets that just keep their distance and chew you apart from long range. So this won't work anymore. Your orders? At least not that easily. Coordinates acknowledged. Okay, we're heading directly for the center point Setting now. Course. Just continued behind Machine the light cruiser of the Adeptus Mechanicus, so they wouldn't be that far apart. Speed things up a bit. Okay, the escort has reached its target. I Admiral. Setting course. We are ready to serve. 
quite some distance. Receiving so your order. I'm placing this auger probe there. An interesting move now is you're actually able to catch these things with, uh, for example, uh, an escort. So you drive in or fly in, the enemy has pick up this thing and area. send the escort off <laughs> to the other end of the map <laughs> so the enemy won't be able to spot you. Or at least not the other ships of the fleet. We serve. You have seized a strategic okay, we have the first area. target captured. Standing off this is ah, there we've got one. That's an iconoclast destroyer. Your orders? But we know there are more enemies. Probably a light cruiser. You have seized a strategic area. Okay, we have this under control, so the light cruiser of the Adeptus Mechanicum is now moving. Ship ready. Do you think yeah, there it is. So this could pick up the Argo probe and just move off map. More or less. You can actually warp Ship out ready. escorts <laughs> with it. But yeah, I Engaging think you want to use your escort at some point, so it's better to keep it. A strategic area. Okay, they have ceased. Another one. But they have ignored this one. That we wait your might have been a mistake. Okay, we're in close range. Reloading. Let's use some torpedoes on this guy. Short burn torpedoes, so they are quick. And still miss, damn it. Engaging. Okay, my escort there wasn't found. Enemy sighted. Oh. Oh, that's a light cruiser. So this thing will be get spotted. And get out quickly. Oh shit, they lost troops. Enemy sighted. I Admiral. Okay. Focusing war sight. This thing should engage on to serve the Omnisire. Okay, that's enough. Back up stealth. Now sniping at the enemy from medium range without getting spotted. Oh, he actually picked up the beacon. That's good. The Arca Pro. We serve. Okay, this ship continues Changing here. Course. Oh, that was a critical hit there. So let's capture this and we continue. With the escort and silent running mode, try to pick up what this guy is doing again. Ship ready. Apparently, it's Underway. only this escort and the light cruiser, who is now severely outnumbered. We and serve. now we're going to play a little game. Engaging Nasty trick, engines. pretty much. To serve the Omnisire. Thruster routines active. We wait your command. The enemy is seizing one of your strategic areas. We are ready to serve. Okay, this guy heads Engaging off because it's, it's pretty quick. We've almost captured that region. And you the nasty trick comes in now. You have seized a strategic Hello there. Area. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Our borders have caused internal damage. The enemy has accumulated that 25 was pretty nasty. strategic points. Receiving your order. And in comes the objective's mechanicum. Your orders? Aye, Admiral. See if he's able to outrun the stasis bomb, because otherwise this Reaching will get really, speed. really ugly for him. Because now setting up a plasma bomb, setting course, will do quite a lot of damage. All ahead, full. We serve. Solid, 
huge highly damaging hit energize vector thrust collision protocols active okay thruster routines active engage engine red lines enhance rotational drift Cruising speed set. Ship ready. Ooh, that hurts. Impossible, Admiral. Revere the Omnissiah. That was a lot of damage, and he lost a lot of crewmen. Maximum burn. Course engaged. Okay, now let's turn the ship around. Get this to the ready. Ooh. Acquiring new vector. Woo. That was solid. Engines down, and that almost slayed him. But there comes the shots. You have accumulated fifty percent of strategic points. Well, slaying your foes is, of course, still an option. <laughs> and... That was the Battle of Demias. We got some renown points. The more we get, the more ship classes we unlock to recruit, or to build, pretty much. Also, the ships increase uh, the veterancy. That helps greatly. So, uh, as we get a morale bonus, skill cooldown, weapon academy, and so on, everything gets up a bit. Nice. Alright. The first victory is ours. Others will follow should we remain true to our duty. Battles leave scars. I must be mindful of my vessel's condition. The reclamation of Demius Binary has taken our enemy by surprise. The Claustrum system is exposed. We shall push our advantage. If the fleet is to grow, we must have access to production facilities. If Claustrum falls to our forces, we shall have them. All right. Uh, as you can see, the movement points of my fleets dropped to zero after the attack on the system, meaning every battle does that. So we have an auger disruptor bomb with this fleet, supercharged void shields. Hmm, pretty good. First company terminators for the flagship and company banner. Very good at assault this ship or this fleet. But now it has to conquer this sector first, or this planet, planet system. Take control. Also costs me movement points, but we did it. Yeah, you can actually repair your ships, but yeah, not really necessary. Let's see what the chaos is doing. Reinforcing their fleets a bit. Our shipyards are ready to provide us some reinforcements. Time to see what the Adeptus Mechanicus have to offer our crusade. Add a new ship. Demios Binary Shipyard isn't capable of full production just yet. We'll use Clauston for now and wait until Demios is capable of crafting larger vessels. Okay, let's go for the Boston system. Small, but can provide us with recon. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, he wants me to recruit that. Sadly, I can't recruit anything else because I don't like Firestorm frigates that much. Their lances are pretty nice, so in swarms they can get uh, rather dangerous. But I prefer other escorts. All is prepared. It is time to welcome a new vessel to the Emperor's service. The reconquest of the Cadian sector can now proceed. 
So now they want me to place a minefield. We have only just begun. Oh, they changed that. War is replete with opportunity. As ground is seized, new objectives will arise. Let us proceed. We are the Emperor's fist. Let his foes tremble at our coming. And now I'm in free play. Pretty much. Just let me take a look at the minefields. Okay. So for the enemies, this applies a delay of one turn for each enemy invasion or assault on the target system. That is great. They changed that. Defense platforms are deployed. Mm -hmm. And there's the space station. Very costly, but extremely powerful. All right, end the turn. Chaos forces at Kentral are getting reinforced. So at Barissa, apparently they got a minefield. The systems we have reclaimed are developing well. This means Prosperous systems can only be a good thing for our cause. Yeah. We will protect them. This means I can build the second stage of Demia's binary. As it is a forge warp, this will massively increase my production there. Receiving communication from the Vox Relay. It is Lord High Admiral Drang. So the old man's still alive. I told you he was too tough to kill. Admiral Spire, I trust you stand ready for orders. Always. Good. Strategically and symbolically, the Cadian Sector is vital to our efforts. You will reclaim it, Admiral. The Emperor protects. Understood. The Emperor protects. Time for our mission. We take the Cadia Sector, pretty much. So, let's take a look at the enemy's forces. And sadly, the Cadia system is a bit too strong at the moment for me. Oh, and so is Wapatork. Oh, wow. That's a lot of forces they have concentrated in these little systems. I could probably overwhelm that fleet. Or probably that one. Because Cersea is a hive world, so it will add to my production. That would be great. With all three fleets, I could be able to overwhelm it. Belisar still needs three turns. Mining increases my output, so we do that. And then we go in. We have a minefield here, so they are not able to conquer it that quickly. One fleet in. Two fleets in. Three fleets in. Six hundred strength. We should be able to field all fleets. This is kind of risky, but I need resources quickly to increase my fleet size and to upgrade my planets. And also, of course, need something uh, yeah, to upgrade my shipyards and build new ships. So the chaos doesn't uh, outperform me in that area. Okay, we have three spots on this side, so we will go over here. Both light cruisers. Actually, no. The quicker Space Marine light cruiser. All capital ships head up. Well, capital. They're not big. But still. They're big enough. These three head up for the central point. And the two escorts. Go for the smaller ones. 
Your orders? We wait your command. Three flagships, though they are light cruisers, all have Where should we strike? They're good things. Receiving your order. So fire sent to protect. Because his ship we is serve. by far the most important. Slow the time a bit down, take a look at them. It's actually the Space Marine fighters we know from the tabletop game Warhammer 40,000. Pretty cool. As you can see, the Space Marine ships Give are massively quicker, and they have uh, increased the effectiveness of armor since the close beta, so this means uh, the Space Marine ships, despite Heading having less hit points, are now pretty dangerous because they are far quicker and their armor is better against enemy incoming fire. Still, you will have to board the enemy into submission pretty much and hulk all his ships. Otherwise Ship we, you will lose. Because you can't uh, really duo the basis of armor and hit points against State the enemy. Armor is nice to get in close, but that better me basically where space marine should be. But that's about it. The enemy has seized a strategic area. Okay, they have already seized the first point. So at least two enemy ships here, or vessels. But there is my other pro. You have seized a strategic area. We have one Let light cruiser it. Hellbringer. Oh, whoa! Two light cruiser Hellbringer class, and he picked up the. Uh... Enemy sighted. Ah, those are only escorts. Okay. Ooh. Aye, Admiral. Okay, let's take a look at them. We, we have the Firestorm Frigate with the lands. Your orders. Okay. Admiral Your Spire. Orders. Nicely set. The enemy has seized a strategic area. And the Space Marine has to go and close. We stand ready. Yeah, I don't like this light cruiser because it's a hybrid of carrier and close combat light cruiser. That's just, yeah, doesn't really work. It's not bad in some, yeah, in some situations, but I don't like it that much. There they come. To where we are needed. You have seized a strategic area. I think I just heard fighters launching. Probably not. Show us the enemy. There they come in force. Those are fighter groups. We wait your command. Okay. We are ready to serve. Repositioning. This guy is in ready. for a nasty surprise. To serve the Omnisire. I am listening. What the crap out of this guy? Primary target. This guy is secondary target. Both engines. I Admiral. You have seized a strategic area. Calculating vectors. Oh, he's boarding already. So we need to turn now. Space Marine's doing the same. The engine is out. Nasty, eh? <laughs> Oh shit, the weapon is, the weapon is damaged. Damage teams. Begin repairs now. Well, that hurts, certainly. Okay, this thing needs to get out of the way. And goes for the Chaos Cruiser over there. Well, this thing turns around. 
and gets away those short burn torpedoes. Ah, damn it. Deck damage. Woo, but that hurt. Okay, the escorts are now ready. And they go for this guy. We wait your command. Rouse the engines. We stand ready. There it is. Hold course. Receiving your order. Ah, damn it. He has caught you. Banished. I Admiral. Enemy sighted. Almost coming in. You have accumulated ah, already out of range. To strategic points. State your order. Ship okay. ready. This hit should destroy him. Nice. Engaging target. Ah. Again, they got my engine. Where should we strike? Strike quickly, brothers. And the special space range strike. Underway. And there we got his engine. Standard speed engaged. Reinforces the troops, but thrust. that's only once per game that you're able to do that. Repairs. Yeah, reinforce the troops. Understood. Very dangerous. The enemy has accumulated 25% of strategic points. Oh, more of my crew is alright. One of your strategic areas. Okay, reload speed, scan, reload speed, and both go for him. And stay close. Your orders? Just going over here. Actually pretty good. Machine spirit appeased. I was going over here. Ship ready. Okay, escort is done, and now we utilize the micro warp jump. With this guy, and that's a really surprise. There come the torpedoes. Solid hit with all. His engine is completely wrecked. Ooh, that was a bombardment cannon strike. Launch Thunderhawks. Set. New vector acknowledged. The enemy has seized a strategic area. We serve. Target locked in. Oh, the space range doing. Purpose. Troop transition successful. Generator down. I am listening. Okay, time for the space rings to go in. To where we are needed. I don't think I will be able to help them, which is always fun, but severe damage is ensured. <laughs> Down to six crew of his third stage. Almost completely out of weapons, I think. 50% of his weapons are destroyed. Engine down, deck down, damage, damage completed, ready. generators and generators are destroyed. The deck is destroyed, before it was only critically damaged. We wait your command. Uh, you might hear my children in the background. Enemy sighted. Oh, another weapon system down. 25% critical damage, 25% complete. Damage? Where the hell did this guy come from? I Admiral. Oh, he's stealth up. How the hell did he do that? Show us the enemy. And that was the plasma. Bomb. It will be destroyed. We serve. Weapons calibrated. In come the space rings. Let's 
space for his Thunder Hawks. Heavy hitting this guy. Yeah, the short range fireball of Space Marines is really terrible. Uh, terrifying, sorry. <laughs> it's actually quite okay. For light cruiser, Bobobkin is pretty dangerous. Warding. Let's see who gets destroyed before I hulk it. Nope! Hulked. <laughs> Every single one aboard slaughtered by the Space points. Marines. That's how it should be. Well, liberated another system. And the Righteous Protector gained its third rank. Great news. Destroyed another enemy fleet. So we liberated Xersia, another hive world. Great news. And that's it for this episode. I hope you really enjoyed it. Now we will see if I'm able to recruit a few new ships to take down yeah the enemy fleets in Cadia. I might be able to do that. Yeah, but first we need some repairs. <laughs> After we did that. We'll see to it. Goodbye, and enjoy the rest of your week.